Hi, my name is Jen and I am a breast cancer survivor. Hearing those words, you have cancer, are words I would never wish upon anyone. Those words literally turned my life upside down. I was scared, angry, and quite honestly, almost unable to comprehend what was happening to me. I felt fear, doubt, pain, but eventually I felt hope. After several tests, ultrasounds, MRIs, and biopsies, I decided to go for the most aggressive treatment possible, and I had a bilateral mastectomy. There was a lot to deal with after the surgery and a lot of self-love I needed to find. It was a real struggle and took some time for me to come to terms with it all, but I'm forever grateful to have won my battle. Months later, there was reconstructive surgery, hormone therapy, and constant follow-ups with my oncologists and surgeons, just to name a few. I wondered how I would ever bounce back from all I had been through, but with a great team of doctors, family, and friends, I was convinced I would be back to doing everything I loved in no time at all. I was gonna be here for my family, friends, and all those touched by this disease, to do whatever needed to be done to lessen my chances, as well as all those struggling of ever having to deal with this disease again. I took this journey as a calling to help those affected, those that are fighting a battle of their own, and my fellow survivors to offer as much support, inspiration, and hope as possible. It was a second chance for me, a second chance to do everything in my power to win the fight. My experiences living with and fighting cancer have really shaped my outlook on life and helped me discover who I really am. Everyone's journey with this disease is unique and there is no right way to deal with cancer. However, I found that for myself, a positive mental attitude is everything. You will have good days and you will have bad ones. So make sure to enjoy those good days. It may not seem like it in the moment, but there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Throughout your journey, it is essential to get the support you need for talking about your diagnosis. Surround yourself with positive people, make healthy nutritional choices, exercise, and when you can, most importantly, breathe. Sometimes it's the only thing you can do to relieve your anxiety. It was always important to me to bring a family member or friend with me to every appointment and support me. It always helped me to have another set of ears to listen to the doctors and nurses and the information and guidance they were giving me. It may be hard at times, but accept all the help you can get, especially when you're struggling. I always appreciated it when others checked in on me and made sure I was in my right headspace, allowing me to laugh, cry, and everything in between. It is so important to channel your inner strength when things are tough and focus on a positive outcome instead of letting that fear take over. There are millions of breast cancer survivors. And while hearing you have cancer may turn your life upside down first too, take solace in the numbers. You can fight, you can win. There are supporters in every town, in every state that are always willing to lend an ear, provide some advice and just be there for you in your time of need. Having been there, I know there are and will be times when you feel alone, confused, and scared. But you are not alone in the fight. And whether it's another survivor, caregiver, friend, family member, or an advocate, we will not stop until the words, you have breast cancer, is a curable disease. Until that day comes, lean on your community, accept the help you need, take care of yourself, stay positive and stay strong. We are here in this fight together and as a partner through your journey.